Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Finance on Your Terms with Super Cold Mike and Super Chill Danny. It's January, it's 2020. Uh, we thought we'd kick off this new series with some super exciting legislation that just got passed, the SECURE Act. Uh, Mike's going to take us on the first topic. He's nice and secure in his winter clothing. Mike, it's true. what do you got for yeah, us? Speaking of legislation and how that can be cold and boring sometimes, <laughs> just like the weather for the next couple months, we're past the holidays and that's really all we have to look forward to. So hopefully you're bundled out there as well. Like Danny said, the next four weeks, the SECURE Act, what the heck is it? Well, if you Google it, it's a ton of stuff, just like a lot of legislation out there. So much information um, can be very complicated to read, so we want to break down uh, four specific things for you. There are some really cool things that have come out with it, um, some money for uh, birth and adoption fees, some expansion to the 529 plan as far as what you can use the money for. So there are a few things out there that are um, um, uh, pretty useful, and I, I'm guessing that a lot of you uh, will have the opportunity to, uh, to use those um, going forward. Now, the one thing I want to talk about today, required minimum distributions. So, for those of you that don't know, required minimum distributions in the past have been where when you turn age 70 and a half, why that number, we don't know. IRS. 70, IRS, yeah, that's it, there you go. That's the only explanation that you need. So, required minimum distributions in the past, when you turn 70 and a half, you're required to start taking money out of any pre-tax accounts that you may have old 401ks, um, IRAs, etc. that uh, you have to take them based on a formula. Here's a certain dollar amount that you've got to take out every year from now on until that account is, uh, is gone. But now they've changed that. So for those of you that aren't already taking RMDs, you can wait until you're age 72. So they extended that age from 70 and a half to 72. So whatever year you turn 72, you have to start taking that money out. So that's kind of a good thing. It gives your, more, it gives your money a, a more of an opportunity to grow. Yep. The one thing that it didn't change, and we've talked about this maybe in an article that we had on our website, but charitable distributions from those pre-tax accounts that you have, they did not change that law. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if you are 70 and a half, you can still take out your RMD, not your RMD, but up to $100,000 per year if you push it directly to a charity, and you don't have to pay any tax on it. So for those of you looking to maybe lower those account balances to maybe um, lower future tax bills going forward, is that a good way to, yep, to say that? 100%. Yeah, so um, you can still make those qualified charitable distributions from those accounts. They did not change the age that you can do that. But for all of those, 72 may be a long ways out, but I'm guessing you know somebody that this applies to. So don't have to take RMDs until age 72 now. That's about it. Anything That's about it. Not for this week. We'll yeah. see you next week where we dive into another couple topics on the SECURE Act.